Hi everyone and welcome back to Yum Paleo. Today what we're going to be making is lamb knuckles on a sweet potato mash. Now you might be wondering what lamb knuckles are. They're actually very similar to lamb shanks, they just have a wee bit of a shorter bone. So you can treat them just as if they were lamb shanks. So I've got six lamb knuckles here, I've got two cups of chicken stock, I've got one bottle of red wine and they're going to be going together with the knuckles in the slow cooker. Now red wine is a bit controversial when it comes to paleo. Some people think it's paleo, some people think it isn't, but we here think that it's okay to use because humans have been drinking red wine for tens of thousands of year, years now and also it has a lot of health benefits if you just have up to a glass a day, especially for your heart. So what I've also got to flavour the lamb is one chopped onion, four cloves, cloves of garlic crushed and dried rosemary, you can use fresh if you have fresh, two bay leaves and cracked pepper. So what we need to do first for this recipe is just to lightly brown the shank, the knuckles sorry, um, in the fry pan. Now after that we are going to be adding all these ingredients to the slow cooker here and it will need to be cooking on high for at least five hours. So it's not a recipe to use if you're wanting, wanting to make something right then and there. It's something that you can put on easily before work and come home to. Alright, so I'm just going to put a wee tablespoon full of oil in the pan now. And I'll see if I can fit three in at a time. Now these will probably need to cook for about eight minutes. Um, halfway through that time you'll be swap, flipping them over so that they can brown on both sides. And what I'm also going to do now is just crack a bit of pepper over top of them to give them a wee bit of flavour. They've been in for a few minutes now, so I'm just going to flip them over and as you can see they're getting nice and brown. And I'll crack a little bit of pepper on the other side as well. And we'll give them another few minutes. Welcome back. These have been cooking for about eight minutes now. So it's time for us to put them in the crock pot. And we're going to do our final three. We'll add a wee bit more oil there. And again, just sprinkling a wee bit of cracked pepper over the top. Okay. 
and I'll see you back here once they're done in another eight minutes time. Hey everyone, I've just flipped these over and what I'm actually going to do now, which I forgot to mention before, is add in the onion and garlic to the pan for the last four minutes just to give them um, a wee bit of a cook through as well before we add it all to the pan and start our slow cooking. So I'll do that now, adding in the onion and the garlic. Alright everyone, they look pretty good to me, so it's time to turn that off and to be putting all of this into the crock pot there. Make sure you get all of your onion and garlic in there, it'll really add some flavour. Alright, so we've got our lamb knuckles, onion and garlic all in our slow cooker now. What we need to do is to add in our chicken stock. So I've got two cups of chicken stock here. I'm going to pour that all over top. And our bottle of red wine which is going to really help to tenderise that meat over time. Again, I'll just pour that over. We're going to use the whole bottle because we do have six knuckles in there and they will take a bit of tenderising. And Last, before we turn it on, we've got our two bay leaves to add. They'll give it really nice flavour. And just a sprinkle of rosemary over the top, or a few sprigs if you do have fresh rosemary. Right, that is looking good. So we'll put the lid on and we're going to put that on high for at least five hours. And that's going to really lock in all those flavours into that lamb meat. Oh, so I've got that going now. And I will see you back in five hours time where we're going to be doing our sweet potato mash and also some leeks to go on the side. See you then. Hi everyone and welcome back. So it's been almost five hours now. We've got our lamb knuckles bubbling away there and they are smelling delicious. So what we're going to do now is start to get our veggies going. So we're going to be making a sweet potato mash made out of two chopped up kumara or sweet potato, uh, two chopped up parsnip and two chopped up carrots. So they'll be boiled together in the pot for 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be blending them together using our stick blender. Next we will be boiling our leek to have as another side to give a nice big green element to the plate. So what I'm going to do now 
is just to put together the kumara, carrot and parsnip in the pot and we'll leave that for 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and tender. Cool, we've got them all in the pot now. So we'll see you back here in 10 to 15 minutes. Welcome back. Those veggies have been boiling away for about 15 minutes now and they're feeling pretty tender. So before we take them off and drain them, I'm just going to pop in those legs because they won't take very long to cook. And we'll just put them in the pan in the back here. With a wee bit of water so that they steam right through. And now I'm going to turn off my big pot and drain those veggies. Alright, so you want to be really careful when you're doing this. Don't want any of that hot water splashing back up at you. There we go. All right. I'll just put those drained veggies back into a bigger bowl. And now we can start giving them a whiz so that they form a smooth puree that we can have underneath our lamb knuckles. and made sure there aren't any lumpy bits left in that and it's looking really good nice and smooth as you can see so we'll leave that now and check on our legs cool. we'll give them another minute or so to steam and it's time for us to have a look at our lamb knuckles and about time to serve up, I think. So as you might be able to see, that's bubbling away there. There's a really rich flavour coming through from that red wine, rosemary, garlic and onion. And I can see that the meat is falling off the bone already. So really, really nice and tender. So I'm going to take the leeks off now and we will drain them. And I think we're about ready to serve. So first of all, what I'm going to do is put the mash down on the plate because we want to be putting the lamb knuckle on top of that mash and then putting the leek on the side. So we'll choose a lamb knuckle Make sure I get it all out there and just place that on top of the mash. There we go. We might want to get out a wee bit of that sauce as well. 
to give the plate a wee bit more flavour. Just drizzle that over the meat there. Yum. And finally, I have the leeks to add. So put a few of them on the plate. And there you have it. Lamb knuckles on a sweet potato mash with leeks on the side. Enjoy.